99.59%. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we... What did we do again? Oh yeah, we beat every side quest in the game. Going over to said side quests, you'll see we have 90 out of 90. And this time, we're aiming for 100%. We are aiming for, mainly, beating every single stone talus in the game every single Hinox, and getting the two remaining, uh, they're over here, the two remaining medals. We already have the one from the Molduga, because there are only four in the game, and total we have 18 bosses to kill this episode. However, I have been notified in the comment section that that does not contribute towards official 100%. Instead, locations contribute to 100%. So discovering Pondo's Lodge uh, gave us 8%, uh, no, not 8%, uh, 0.08% completion. So with this math, one moment, roughly we should have five locations left. Pondo's Lodge not being one of them since we just got it. It's a little bit more than five actually. It's 5.125. So I, I'm wondering if there's like a secret percentage there that we don't see a, a further decimal point than the hundreds. But that's where we're at. A roughly five locations remaining. Now, we did discover this, and I've heard about this. This is bowling. So I'm going to do this quest real quick, and hopefully Future Pal can try and edit the episode to make it things go a little bit faster. Hopefully I don't regret this. Hey, kiddums, nice to meet a fresh face in these parts. Not every day I get company this high on the hills. Can't you give me... Can you, can't give you a warm welcome, but how about a game I made up? Snowball Bowling, or as I call it, Snowling. Sure, though that's a terrible name. Oh, the sweet music of yes. There's the ca uh, catch, though. The game costs a cool 20 rupees to play. You still up for a round? Aha, play bells are ringing. I gotta set up the pins, so, but I'll be back in a flurry. I assume this requires us playing with stasis. Oh, there, it's down there. This is the snowball you'll use. It might not look like much, but it's a, it's no joke. You get two rolls. Knock them flat. If you can knock all down all the pins in strike, that's a roll. Only the most notor notorious bowlers can pull it off. A spare is when it takes two tries to finish the job. Not as good as a strike, but nothing to sneeze at. Oh. Well, good luck. What is this music? I've never heard this track before. Oh, I was hoping there would be some sort of master tune to this, but it looks like it's just background. It's, it sounded like it was leading up to Four Swords Adventures style theme. Uh, yeah, how many pans are zero? Not as easy as it looks, the kiddums. But hey, one through eleven mega count. Ah, uh, that was pretty good. I can see myself getting a spare. Knocked over how many pans? Four? Oh. Your totally is four? You can do better than that. Oh. <gasps> oh, so close to... Oh, oh, oh. So close to being a strike. Oh. Yeah! Spare! Knocked over how many pins? Two? Oh. Your total is all of them. That was your second throw, so it counts as a spare. Snow them how it's done. Oh. You knocked them all down flat. That uh, that was no mean sleek, kiddums. I got a special prize for you for pulling it off. Silver Rupee. So what do you think about giving another whirl? No, oh. I'm fine. I haven't lost interest, but I have other things to do this episode. I have bigger fish to fry. Those fish being, firstly, the stone taluses. I've marked every single one on the map, and I'm going to be fighting them all 
now. However, that means we need to take a couple weapons out of retirement. I'm going to drop by the Elden region, pick up a Stone Smasher, and then drop by my house and pick up a Cobble Crusher. And we are going to knock these things flat like we knocked down those bowling pins. Along the way, I'm going to try and get any, uh, any areas that we haven't discovered thus far and they're they're small areas it's not like oh you didn't discover tabantha tundra no it's something tiny like pondo's lodge i used the zelda dungeon.net breath of the wild interactive map and i just zoomed around and and looked real close and compared what there was on the master map to what i had and i found pondo's lodge so that's what i'm going to be doing stone taluses and then, after I'm done with the stone taluses, we're going to go to high knocks. I don't have enough stamps to do them both, unfortunately. So it means we're going to have to take, make two entire sweeps of the map. But, Future Pal can edit this down in a way where I don't need to show all of them. I'm going to show the deaths of all of them, but I don't need to show all of the fights. So this episode shouldn't be that complex or long. And while we show off these boss fights, I think this would be an excellent opportunity for me to switch into post-commentary mode and bash the game for all it's worth. <laughs> no, in, in actuality, while my opinions have been very rough of late on Breath of the Wild, that's not because at the end of the series I suddenly have changed my mind about whether or not it's a good game, or that it soured me. It's just that throughout the series, if I've had a negative opinion about Breath of the Wild, I silenced it. Because I didn't want to lash out based on the whiplash of learning of a new mechanic or um, a new thing that we'd have to tackle. Because if over time my opinion of that settled and I began to enjoy it, it would A, make me feel like an idiot, and B, it's just not smart to voice your opinion before you have time to hone it and develop it into something that's well-founded. There are 84 bosses in Breath of the Wild, not counting the Divine Beasts. Four of those, not counting the DLC, are Mulduga, which is about 4.7% of the total bosses of the game, meaning that over 95% of the bosses are Stone Talus and Hinoxes. And I think that this is an egregious problem in Breath of the Wild, one that makes the map exploration and some of the combat a bit samey. And it's a problem that's shared with the common enemies as well. Whereas in other Zelda games, we had Dark Nuts, we had Armos, we had all sorts of different cool enemies, Bomb Chews. Here, we only have a small assortment of different enemies, and then smaller minions like Keys and Chews. And then a wide variety of variants, differing skills of difficulty and damage of each enemy. And I think that this that leaves the combat a little bit dry despite the fact that Lynels are one of the most enjoyable fights in the Zelda franchise. Years ago, Dave and I had a conversation over the phone about what would make the perfect Zelda game. It boiled down to many things, but if I could boil it down to just a couple things in a nutshell, it was multiple discs with multiple stories and uh, story arcs and bosses, which we got, the ability to pick up random items off the ground and eat them, which basically was hearkening to an open world mechanic, which we got, and then also, jokingly, I said that there should be 40 gomas, or 50 gomas, in throughout the map. Now, I hadn't realized that Nintendo had been listening in on this conversation, because Breath of the Wild is almost verbatim what I had hoped to see in a Zelda game. I just wish that I had mentioned that I was joking whenever I, I made that comment about goma, because, you know what? It, this game might have been different. And I believe that it would have benefited greatly from halving the amount of Stone Talus and Hinoxes are, that are in the game and adding two other bosses. Because then, having half the Stone Taluses, they would feel like a, a reward. You would feel like you were special for finding one because it was 20 scattered throughout uh, 140 square miles. But, but as it stands, the fact that there are so many of these bosses that we just didn't kill, even though I saw them half the time and marked them on the map, I didn't kill them because they're everywhere. And also the fights aren't exhilarating. I regularly kill every single Lionel in the map, not just to farm, but also for the fun of it. It's one of the most fun boss fights since Dark Link, the Dark Link mini fight, mini boss in the Water Temple. And the bosses didn't capture that to me. The only reason why I would fight a boss over and over in this game is for the reward, not for the fight. 
My hope is that the next Zelda game meets the bar set by Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess to match the same level of boss and enemy diversity that's present in those beautiful games. And I think that's it. I think we've gotten every single boss in Breath of the Wild. Now, I can't actually check without possibly getting a medal, which is why I'm uncertain, but we're going to find out in a moment. Now, I've been dreading this part of the episode because I discovered something. This has been a weird episode to record. I've spent two or three days recording this? Here's why. I can't go to the map to show you because that will spoil everything unless Future Pal wants to edit that out, which he does not. I looked in two data mined maps of Breath of the Wild with every single location accounted for. And I did it not just once, but one of the data mined maps, the one I've been using for the Korok seeds, which is 100% accurate for those Korok seeds, I searched it three times and I found a single location. I found uh, this random like ghost town on the side of El uh, Elden Volcano. I thought, cool, I found a location. And then I looked at the, uh, I couldn't find anything else. So I went to another data mine map. This one was ripped straight from the files, didn't really have any uh, prettiness added. And I looked at that five times I compared it to my map. Five times, showing every location trigger, because that's what you need to get for 100%, and I didn't find anything. Now, I'm good at looking, because I found every single Korok seed in the game, so I'm not mistaken, I have every single location in the entire game of Breath of the Wild. That presents a problem, because going to my map, you'll see that I have 99.67% completion, Every location adds between 8 or 9%. Uh, I believe it's uh, every, every 4 locations gives you 9% instead of 8% for whatever reason. Which means I have 4 locations that are un unaccounted for. Here's the issue with that. There are no locations that are unaccounted for. Look at this Hero's Path mode. I have everything. Which means that we have 100% of the game, but the game won't recognize it. Now, my belief is that there are there are certain story-related title, uh, title locations that you come across, and they're scripted. My thought is that those didn't appear or did not add to 100% because they're bugged. Now, this isn't the case with everyone, but I have done a lot of reading online and found that it is the case with a lot of people, that they have collected every single location and they're stuck at 99.91% 99.67% as I am so it's a known thing it's a known quandary which means that we've 100% of the game the game won't recognize it but I believe that we have done it in fact I don't even believe it I know that we've done it and with that let's talk to Kilton and officially get 100% Kilton the smell Sniff, sniff. Is it a Lionel or perhaps... Ah, it's my favorite customer. Good evening. How may I help you? Oh, yeah. Which monster would you like to talk about? The Stone Colossus, please. This scent. This, this is <laughs> you. You've defeated every last stone talus. You are fragrant, my friend. It smells like there's a stone talus standing right in front of me. Thank you so much. Oh, yes, let me give you this. Medal of Honor, Talus. A medal presented by Kilton in somber honor of having defeated every stone talus. Taking the life out of a monster is a solemn act, but at times it must be done. This is proof that you have defeated every stone talus in the land. As long as you have this, <laughs> I'll always be with you. You don't have to suffer in silence anymore. I know how much it hurts you every time you kill a monster. Destroying monsters for the materials is soul-crushing work, but it must be done. <clears throat> now let's talk to him again. Good evening, how am I help you? about monsters. Oh yeah. Which monster would you like to talk about? The forest giant. Let's hope that I've gotten them all. 
Ah, oh, this scent most interesting. You've defeated 38 to 40! On your way! Time step, pal. That's not a great reaction sound. Hey! <laughs> Kilton. I return triumphant. It's not Hinox because all the one all the Hinox in the world are dead. Good evening. About monsters. Oh, yeah, which monster would you like to talk about? I have all day. It's nighttime, but that just shows how much time I have. The forest giant. Oh, the scent. This is what I've been waiting for. You've done it. You defeated all of the Hinoxes. You are fragrant. It's as if there was a Hinox standing right in front of me. Thank you so much. Oh, yes, let me give you this. A medal of honor. Hinox. A medal presented by Kilden in, in a somber honor of having defeated every Hinox. Ending a monster's life is never an easy task, but sometimes it is a necessary one. This is proof you have defeated every last Hinox. And as long as you have this... You can know that this voice, this facade, <laughs> is really me. I'll always be with you. You don't have to suffer in silence anymore. I know just how much it hurts you every time you kill. Thank you. Now, does that give us a reward? Because I I really have heard something about... You only have one mod, but feel free to take a look. I thought for sure. I thought for sure that there was some sort of medallion that I've read about online that gives us the ability to summon a blood moon. But maybe I was wrong. Maybe I stumbled across someone's Breath of the Wild fanfic. I don't know. I don't know these things. I wasn't trying to look for spoilers, so you you have to give me credit for not fact-checking as much as I would normally. But I, I wait for you guys to tell me in the comments. I hope to see you again on another monstrous night. Look at that blank stare. Isn't it beautiful? In fact, let's, let's self-portrait it up. Do I have a... No, mm, mm. Perfect. Beautiful photo. Save. That's for the memory books. Replace the picture. Awesome. Let's look at this in, in our inventory. Oh, it started at a second page? Um. That's kind of awkward, actually. I thought... I thought for sure... That, that breaks my conventions a little bit. I thought for sure... That, uh, by, that by clearing this, by getting everything, 100% would leave us at one page with everything full. But I guess I miscalculated on my math. I thought there were two slots left, but maybe not. They started as two pages. That's odd. But that's also it for this episode. That's 100%. R ignore what the game says, because I checked thoroughly. A total of eight times I combed the map. As I said just a few moments ago, and I have, I do indeed have every single location, but the game is registering that I'm missing four. 
But I have them all. But regardless of what the game says, that does in fact mean that we have 100% completion. There is nothing left to do except the DLC. Now, there are a few side things that I'd like to do that don't count towards anything but my own my own headcanon of what 100% 100 looks like. Uh, one of those I've actually already started on this episode in recording this. I have been going through all of the shrines, every single one, and getting their chest. Because cert there are a couple shrines left over, uh, let's see if we can find one, that... I didn't get the reward inside because it was either my inventory was either full or it just wasn't good and my inventory was was full. There aren't that many shrines left now that I've done my sweep and I didn't bother to show it because none of the secrets have been that great. There was one where there was a false wall and that was really sweet, but to pick and choose, especially since the, I knew there wouldn't be that many since we've we've found I've been very thorough in these shrines. In fact, looking at this, I haven't even covered this this side of the map yet in my sweep, and I have yet to find a single shrine that does not have its chest claimed. So I was very thorough. And I just figured it wasn't worth showing off because there would only be a handful of secrets. But I guess I might have actually done it all at this point. That's that's kinda cool. I guess the couple things that I did were all that was left. So that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, in between episodes, I'm probably going to make sure that I have every single chest in every single shrine. Just for my own sake, uh, if we can't, if the map doesn't, oh, there's, there's one. Yeah, there's one. Here, I'll put a thing there. Um, there's, there's two, actually. There's three. So yeah, there, there are still a couple remaining. There's four, five, wow. I guess that's the early early part of the game. Uh, what, are, what was I going to say? What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm going to do that. If there's anything interesting, I'll, I'll I'll put it in the episode. I don't I don't really. It doesn't really matter. And that's just for my own personal enjoyment. Uh, but otherwise, we are at 100%. That's that's it. That is Breath of the Wild. That is every collectible. That's every location, regardless of what the game says. That's everything. That feels weird. I, I want to keep saying that it's everything just to further convince myself that I have done this. It's it's a ridiculous accomplishment, and I have mixed feelings just like I did with the Korok Seeds. That's going to be it for this episode, as I said like three times already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode is the beginning of the end. We start on the final trials of DLC Pack 2. As well, as at some point, we're going to get around to viewing the additional dialogue uh, for each of the champions, Urbosa and Rivali, and also Mifa. That will come at some point, probably when we complete the DLC. That's going to be it for this episode. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. Why? Oh yeah, I forgot. This, this skin puts people on guard. They're very alarmed when they see me in this, because you have nice speed up, which means you're a stalker, and you're also a horrible person. Literally everyone... Gets on guard. Look at that. He's repulsed. Sidon is repulsed by us. I I don't think I can live with myself now. I'm going to see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Breath of the Wild. Later. Sweet, clip that.